uh, to each and every one of you. I just want to quickly give a quick update, okay, uh, based on the market sentiment at this moment. Now, understanding that uh, today is a significant day also because if you look into the market watch, right, today we have the initial jobless claim. Uh, this is sometime 8.30, right, 8.30 New York time. Uh, we also have the CPI uh, report that is coming out today. So this is going to basically define the situation of the market. And I believe that we're going to see a quite a volatile situation today because uh, the, the CPI will determine the inflation, right? And this is going to basically affect uh, the decision of the Federal Reserve whether the interest rate is going to continuously, you know, they're going to continuously uh, cut the interest rate, you know, in the next decision making, or are they going to basically hold the interest rate cut, okay? Or are they going to basically decide otherwise whether they want to go for 25 basis point instead of 15 basis point? So uh, if you look into the initial jobless claim, uh, this is the previous 225, all right? Uh, and if you look into the forecast, it's around 230. Uh, thereafter, we have the consumer price index, okay, and also we have the cost CPI. So these are basically the numbers that we are looking at. So uh, hitting these numbers, okay, will actually uh, move or, or actually, uh, you know, affect uh, the movement of the market right today. So uh, let's look, uh, let's uh, wait and look, you know, for, for the situation. How does this scenario is going to play out? Okay. Now, uh, I would like to quickly, you know, uh, give you uh, what do I expect? What am I, what am I going, what am I uh, expecting to see? Uh, when the CPI report is out. Sometime during the CPI reporting itself, we might not see much of the movement because please understand that uh, the CPI report is around 8.30, right? But the stock market opens around 9.30. So normally, right, after the CPI report and we wait for the stock market to open, and then when the stock market opens, that's where we will start to see a lot of, you know, movement uh, in the market itself. So the movement can be very dynamic, right? Very dynamic. Sometimes we can see spikes. Uh, sometimes a lot of the, a lot of the stop losses or liquidity uh, can be taken, which I'm going to explain to you uh, what is my expectation, okay? Now, first, first thing first is that I have shown, uh, I've shown this data, but I just want to, you know, uh, once again, okay, emphasize a few important things that I want you uh, to understand what is really taking place, okay? Now, if you look uh, at, at Bitcoin, right, I think this has been since, okay, since most probably around March, okay, March 2024, we have seen Bitcoin moving in this, you know, in this channel, all right, in this channel. Now, uh, this, uh, this has been probably one of the longest, one of the longest trails, okay, one of the longest uh, movement within this channel and I believe that you know during this period of time uh, a lot of these uh, holders okay or a lot of investors are getting exhausted they are even getting bored uh, with the situation of the market but this is I believe is how the market has been playing out or how the whales are basically or the institution basically wanted it to be because they want to take out as much as much as you know as much as investors as much as holders as possible who are bought so that they will sell their holdings okay they will sell their bitcoins and so on so that this bitcoin will then be bought by the whales okay i think that is basically uh, what has been happening because people uh you know people e emotionally right if you look into humans humans don't have patience so when they don't have the patience to wait what they will do is that they they will basically uh, you know just let go right they will just sell it at loss and that is it when they sell it at loss the whales are waiting the institutions are waiting to basically you know purchase you know this bitcoin right now the other important thing that i want you to notice is that not only it is moving within the channel okay it is basically also if you look at that I have put this pivot line, okay? This pivot line, which is a $60,000, is a very, very, I will say, a significant uh, emotional pivot line, all right? Now, uh, Bitcoin has to hold this 60000 or else once Bitcoin break the 60000 you know, and comes down, right? Then we, we, it's going to be basically a, a very, uh, it can start to build up a bearish sentiment, right? A bearish sentiment. But if Bitcoin can hold 60,000, I believe uh, Bitcoin has to retest, you know, the key resistance level around 66, which is basically the, the same level which is, is rejected. Can you see that? 
Bitcoin has to has to remain 60,000 and and start to move towards 68,000 if we're going to see a, a bullish a, a bullish sentiment. But if you look, all right, I doubt. Okay, looking into what has been happening at this moment, and also looking into the money flow, right? The money flow has already basically broken the 50 percent, uh, you know, 50 percent range, which I believe that this is going to go even further down. And looking into how many times, right? If you look at how many times, okay. How many times? One, two, three, four, five. Five times uh, on the daily candle. Okay, it has actually, uh, you know, uh, been been basically right, been pressing and been hitting back at this sixty thousand level. And and based on our understanding, all right, once you hit that level, once you hit the wall again and again and again and again, that level is going to give up. That level is going to be weakened. All right. So this is exactly what I'm seeing. Uh, Bitcoin most probably will start to break this level, okay, this level. But before that, okay, I want you to understand that we have a CPI report coming in today. So since we have a CPI report coming in today, so what what do I expect? All right, that's the most important thing. What do I expect? What am I predicting? Where could we see Bitcoin move first before we start to see Bitcoin coming down? Okay, that is the important thing. So uh, I believe that with the CPI report that is coming in, right, uh, we're going to look at a few things here before we 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 before I actually you know predict and give you uh, you know my thought where we're going to see Bitcoin moving uh, very very quickly right now first of all let's just take a look uh, you know at the Bitcoin uh, at the Bitcoin CME gap right uh, for the CME gap we use the normal candle right now what what I really want to look at here is that if you look into the CME gap I have actually put up. You know a gap here right i've actually put up a gap here if you look into that we have a gap okay we have a gap here a very very tiny gap here you know around 62,600. so that it can be around 62 or 63,000 gap okay so bitcoin uh i i expect right i expect this gap to be filled but please also okay please also take note that we have a gap we have a gap all right which i've actually uh put up the gap here right we have a gap somewhere around 54,000. Can you see that? On the four hours, we have a gap. On the one hour, we have a gap at 60, around 62,600. Let's take it about 63,000. And we have a gap, you know, at the bottom around 54,000, all right? Now, these are the two gaps, okay, that, that you need to really be watchful. And also, right, we, we do have other gaps at the bottom, but let's just look into this gap first because I believe if this gap is filled, then we will be able to see other sentiment playing out, okay? So this is uh, in terms of the gap itself, all right? Now, let's just uh, move on, okay? Move on back into uh, the Bitcoin chart, right? So if you look at other factors here, right? I think everything is playing out uh, very, very nicely at this moment. Uh, things are just laying out, you know, for what is going to happen uh, during the CPI reporting. Now, if you look uh, at at the one hour chart right one hour we are basically already at the oversold area so that simply means right I, what i'm seeing is that it is already uh been basically right been building or been actually been prepared in such a beautiful way that we might see on the one hourly moving towards the overbought area right so this could probably be within the next few hours you know even before the cpi reporting comes out we could even see bitcoin price actually move a uh, much higher and then if you look into the four hours time frame right it's the same thing can you look into it so bitcoin might okay move uh, towards the upper 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 you know upper trend here it can actually move up and and basically go towards this uh, you know uh, overbought overbought area right overbought area so we have about few hours okay few hours to go uh, currently it's around basically i think about 2 30 or 2 15 in the morning so we have a few hours to go uh you know before sorry it is now about 2 uh, 2 15 afternoon okay us time so we have about you know few 4 to 8 to 12 hours or so right to be able to see this play out so most probably right on the one hour i think it can go to the overboard area and then from there right on the four hours we might see it actually reach the 50 percent uh, money flow target area over here and then we could see a revision taking place all right now uh, please understand okay the other the other thing that also align with this theory is the liquidation so if you look at the liquidation uh, for the next 24 hours right we have a liquidation here at around 
we have a liquidation here piling up okay this is around 62,400 can you see that 62,400 also let's say it can actually take all the way up to 63,000 so you can see that this thesis uh, is playing out correctly right based on the based on the CME gap around 62 1600 right 62,600 63,000 so we have a gap over there so this is what I, I really I think that is going to happen we're going to see a uh, Bitcoin price basically move up okay move up within a 62,000 you know 600 to might be 60 63,000 and basically take up the liquidity over here all right once this liquidity is taken if you look into the one week right one week we have massive liquidity at the bottom here. That is around 300 over million liquidity waiting somewhere around 59. Can you see that? 59 all the way down here. You can actually go all the way down. But what I'm saying is that if you have a liquidity here at 59, that means that 60,000 is going to be broken, right? 60,000 will break. So this is what I'm expecting. We could see we could see a, a slight move upside to take the liquidity around 63,000. And then we're going to see a massive dump. Bitcoin will start to break the 60,000 and come all the way down probably around 54,000 to actually fill up the gap, uh, the CME gap around 54,000. All right. Now, if 54,000 doesn't hold, then I believe so. We could even actually retest 52,000 and high likely okay high likely i don't want that to happen but if it happened then we could even see forty nine thousand. okay so that could actually put a bitcoin in a very very you know vulnerable position because as the price goes down that is going to create unnecessary uh, fear uncertainty and doubt and many who are holding bitcoin uh, will even actually sell those bitcoin okay now apart from the cpi report that is coming we also been hearing that you know us is going to sell a huge amount of bitcoin that they confiscated that is also creating unnecessary fear and panic already and this could be the reason why a lot of the sell-off is taking place all right so please understand that even the institution okay the etf institutions are selling uh, their bitcoin i believe so they understand that bitcoin price uh, will have to come down okay probably not below 50 or even 40s so that they can sell it now and then buy back at the bottom now on the other hand right please also understand that if we look into the you know into the um dxy okay dxy is basically going up so this is basically a, a call uh, we can see that there, that there is a i will not there is a basically anti-correlation right between bitcoin and the uh, dxy itself so when dxy goes up then you start to see all the other assets actually comes down okay but the thing is that also understand that if you look into the 10-year yield even the 10-year yield is actually going up so currently the 10-year yield is, is is already actually exceeding four over percent now that simply means that a lot of money is actually going into the stock market so most probably a lot of these uh, investors are selling their gold their silver their commodity stocks and they are basically putting their money into nasdaq into you know into smps and so on because they are seeing a renewed uh, interest into this stock at this moment so it is a bit it is a bit worrying right to be able to see that a lot of this stocks price are going up and even hitting all-time high and even okay moving we could probably see a parabolic a movement of this stock market so this could be a massive reason okay and and i i believe so because of the uh, or because of the revision of the interest rate and interest rate is becoming cheaper there are a lot of money now going into uh, the stock market even with what we are seeing in china china has actually basically right ramp up on their interest rate they basically uh you know are slashing their interest rate we are seeing a lot of money is actually even going into the china market so uh please understand that when the when the yield and also the dxy starts to move up okay uh for the dxy right i i i have a target here basically i'm looking at dxy hitting the 105 105 or probably 104 right 104 over here hitting this 104 level so there is still a massive room for dxy to move up and this massive move will definitely you know will definitely translate uh, into a massive move okay uh, of, of bitcoin right or bitcoin coming down so that's the reason why 
uh, I believe it is correlating, uh, you know, uh, perfectly, right? Things are playing out perfectly. This thesis is playing out perfectly. Uh, we already see a massive rejection few days ago, and this massive rejection, we are already starting to see uh, sellers are coming in to basically sell Bitcoin, all right? So this is a, a very significant uh, insight uh, for our team. So, uh, and please understand that during this period, okay, during this period, uh, there can be massive volatility, uh, you know, there can be huge, you know, movement of the market, you know, things can, things can get real crazy, uh, there are panics going on and so on, right? So, if you're part of JDX board, understand that, okay, we are still within uh, this range and, and, and within this range and, and a lot of the bots have been safeguarded and even some, uh, some of the bots are already starting to even, okay, are uh, ripping in the profits and so on. So, uh, so uh, we be I believe, or I believe that this kind of insights will help you to understand uh, where we are going, right, in terms of the Bitcoin price itself. I believe that a lot, a lot of the, you know, influencers, you know, a lot of people are really expecting that Bitcoin will hit the all-time high. They're expecting 100,000, 150,000, but I think it will not be that soon. Uh, at this moment, uh, due to the uncertainty of the market and also due to the stimulus, uh, you know, of the interest rate and also with the upcoming, you know, upcoming uh, uh, election that is coming now. Please understand, all right, uh, everyone says that September will be the worst month, but September was one of the best months when come to Bitcoin performance. And now everybody, uh, everybody expecting October will be the best month, am I right? October. So they, they say that it is not October, but it is October, right? But please understand that with September, they thought that the market will be bearish, but September was one of the best uh, performing month. But please understand that when you are expecting for something to be, you know, to be October, right? To be really great, ex especially October, probably things are playing out the other way around. So when, when, when the market is expecting something, right? When 90 over percent, of the market uh, participants are expecting that the price will go up it will then start to play against them this is what we are seeing at this moment and also with the geopolitical tension that is taking place in the middle east i believe so right there's going to be a lot a lot of panic taking place uh, a lot of selling off of this risk asset all right uh, will be on the table people may actually convert their money into gold or they might even convert their money into cash and hold things in cash you know until a market is stabilized and so on okay so uh this this war is going to basically you know create a lot of chaos even in terms of the oil price and so on so hopefully right things does not really escalate and become serious to world war three and, and then we start to see recession and so on and this is going to be you know going to be uh a huge, you know, a huge, uh, uh, you know, a huge uh, disadvantages, you know, to many of us and also to the economy of the world, all right? So I hope that, you know, this insight is helpful. I trust that, you know, you are able to, you know, you are able to basically decipher uh, your investment, you're able to, you know, manage, you know, your position, your investment wisely uh, and understand exactly what is going on. So let's look forward uh, for the CPI, okay, tonight, uh, to today at around 8.30, you know, US time. Uh, let's look forward and see how does the market is going to react, all right? So with that, I would like to say, you know, thank you so much, you know, have a great, great uh, day ahead and I hope to, you know, catch up with each and every one of you once again. God bless you all.